Good morning. Well, I woke up a little bit earlier than I did yesterday and I was a bit peckish. So we don't normally eat until like, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock when we start getting the older, we get the sausages on or something. But I had a bread roll left and I had some peanut butter in the cupboard for emergency rations. So being a bit of peanut butter on a bread roll, it was a little bit chilly, but it's not too bad. I got my fleece on. Jackie's playing her iPad in the back of the van. Daisy's had a wee wee and I'm, we've had a cup of tea. And I'm on my coffee now, so all's good. Not as nice outside as it was yesterday. It is um it's been raining. It's not it's not raining at the moment. You can see the ground's a little bit wet, but we don't let that upset us. We don't let that upset us. We just enjoy being in the van, being out in the countryside, being out <laughs> being away from work, being away from people to be honest with you. Okay then, well we've been here for two nights, it's been very nice. Um Leisure battery's draining down a little bit, so we're gonna go for a drive anyway. We're gonna to pop to Tesco first, pick up a few supplies, and then see where we end up after that. Let's get out of here. Off to Tesco, and then to some other place, wherever that may be. But we've had a great time, absolutely lovely time here. It was lovely sat out in the sun yesterday, but there's no sun today, so I'm not really missing out on anything. We're driving to the classic sounds of smooth country. I've told you before, all I ever play in this van is country music. Okay, well, we've just been to Tesco's. As you can see, we're about to drive out of the car park. We picked up some giant rose pasties for our lunch and some cream buns. And then we save our hot dogs for tea tonight. Now we're gonna travel over to a park that we've not used for a while, over the Tamar Bridge, Wit Sand Bay, on the cliff top. Hopefully we won't get blown off and hopefully there'll be a space for us because it's, it's not that big. Tamar Bridge. We can take the long way round over the Tamar Bridge to Whitsands rather than taking the ferry because I prefer the bridge to the ferry today. Here we are just approaching the roundabout that leads us onto the Tamar Bridge which we'll whip around very carefully taking all relevant precautions. I'm just waffling for the sake of it. And we're coming on to the good old Tamar Bridge. Lovely suspension bridge built or designed or built and designed, I don't know, by that legendary guy called, was it Alexander Kingdom Brunel? Is he the one who done it? He's the one who done that bridge over there. That bridge, wasn't it Jack? Did he do this bridge as well? Did he do the Tamar Bridge? I ain't got a clue. I'm just waffling. Well, I don't know when he was born. I mean, he might have still been alive when they done this one. So anyway, we're on the Tamar Bridge, our lovely suspension Lord bridge. Tamar. No, this one. Lord Tamar. And once we come over the Tamar Bridge, we will then be going down through the Saltash Tunnel. We'll then be going down through the Saltash Tunnel, which is a tunnel that takes you underneath Saltash, which wasn't there when I was a little boy, but they dug a hole underneath Saltash, I don't know, years later, maybe in the, I don't know, when did they do that? Maybe in the 80s, probably in the 80s actually. Yeah, it must have been in the 80s, late 80s, they probably done this tunnel. And once we get underneath the tunnel, we'll go through the tunnel, because like, we don't want to turn around and go back again. And then we'll head on up to the relevant turning to take us to Whitsands Bay. I don't know whether you find this interesting, the tunnel. I always find tunnels and bridges and things like that interesting. I love architecture, tunnels, bridges, buildings fascinating but as you can see today the weather's taken a turn for the worse not as nice as it was yesterday but you know we can't be greedy we've had a couple of absolutely beautiful days friday was lovely saturday was lovely to be honest it's probably a blessing because i spent about i don't know about six hours sat out in the sun what was i trying to say oh yeah it's probably a blessing that it's a rainy day today because yesterday I was sat out in the sun for like six hours and I tanned up lovely. 
I got a lovely tan yesterday and if it was sunny today, I would have been very tempted to sit out in the sun all day and then I would have probably burned and it would have all peeled off. Right, let's hang a left here. Hopefully take us down a little bit closer to our destination. I don't want to go to Lou. <laughs> It's a bit tight getting around the lane. I've never done it in the van. I'm sure it's not too bad in the van. They have lorries and all going down there doing their deliveries. Well, we're almost there. We're almost at our park up. Hopefully there's going to be a space for us. Look at that. I spy my little eye. Something beginning with the ocean. Well, it's not this big car park here on the left. That's a paying display and it's very slopey. And there's a blue truck there. Go. Bit further around the coast for us. We managed to make it to our destination. Very nice it is. Well, apart from the weather, but it's nice. It's nice and dry. It's not lashing down anymore, and it's nice and sunny and bright. Even though the sun's coming through the clouds, so you've got this like white glow to it. But we got our pasties, rose Cornish pasties, which is fine. Look at that. Look, that's the packet. That's not the pasty. You're not going to eat the packet. Um, rose Cornish pasty, or should I say Rose Cornish ketchup with a nice pasty. So we got our pasties, we got our cup of tea on the go, we bought some cream buns for afters, those chicken thighs I roasted up, I've put stripped one and put it in there, and she likes hot food, so I put some hot water on it, and it's making it all nice and warm and mushy, so she'll enjoy that one, we'll enjoy that one, and we'll have our cream buns after. And when it's, um, when it's not raining anymore, I'll go outside with the camera so you can see where we are. But if you've seen previous videos, you've oh. already seen this park up at Whitsam Bay. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, Jackie didn't eat all of her pasty. It's my lucky day. Thank you, Jackie. Here we are, you can see where we are now. Nice little park up. Got a van beside me. The car's just cleared off from over there. A um, few cars there. There was a car that pulled in in between me and that car not long after we uh, after we turned up. But I think they just stayed for about a quarter of an hour just to check out the view. The thing is, if people park up in a car, right? The thing that makes them shift is when they want to go for a wee. When they want to go for a wee, they got to go driving somewhere. Not like us with the campers. We got a, most of us have a toilet inside. What's she doing in there? That's what Jackie always does. As soon as we get to a park up. Well, we've just had our dinner and then she gets the Uber out. <laughs> and I think somebody else is sat on the seat waiting for me to take her for a wee wee. She ain't been yet since we've been here. She's had her chicken, I've had me pasty, but she's not had a wee wee. Here we are, back up in my treehouse. And who says you don't get a good view from the, up in a pop top? Well, that's my belly, you don't have to view that. That's not a bad old view from the cliff top at Whitsands Bay. The only thing when I'm lying down in a pop top and I'm filming is obviously I'm literally lying down because I haven't really got room to sit up. So you get this Sergeant Major's chin. <laughs> oh dear Lord. But anyway, we're here. We're here for the night. We'll stay here all night. We'll probably stay here all day tomorrow and head back home about eight, nine, ten o'clock tomorrow. Maybe a bit earlier, maybe seven, eight, nine, seven, eight o'clock, ideally. Then we can go home and have a, have a shower. Although Jerry, Jackie's been show showering in the van anyway. We can go and have a shower and chill out for the evening before we got work on Tuesday. There's the van beside me there. That's the ocean, as you can tell. We're on a little, little island. Little island. We're parked on this like little island in the middle of like a little T-junction or a Y-junction. And there's the road between us and the cliff top and the ocean. So, and then we got cars beside us there. It's a nice little spot. We Last time we parked here, funny enough, was New Year's Eve. And we had to leave early because we, um, well, I had a New Year's Eve New Year's Eve party at work, but if you can remember, I was, I was slicing something, probably onions. Was I slicing onions? or bread rolls or something, and I took a bleeding tip off my finger. What one was it? I think it was that one, actually. Yes, that one, and he's not quite been right since. It takes ages to heal properly, and if I'm trying to play the guitar now, not that I'm very good anyway, but it's very, very sensitive, because it literally went through all the layers of the skin. Um, and obviously you need your 
tips of your fingers to be fairly sturdy for playing the guitars. So that was what? December the 30th, 31st or whatever. January, February, March, April. So that was literally four months. Four months and a week ago, I took the tip off my finger and it's still, it's still quite not tough enough to play the guitar. What an absolutely gorgeous view. Just lying up my pop top on the top of a cliff facing out of the ocean and it stopped raining and the skies have cleared and it's just stunning. And that's the cars parked beside us. Obviously that's the view of the front that I've just showed you. And we got a Mercedes Sprinter conversion part beside us. You on your way? Oh, how's this for room service? Got the missus bringing us up a cup of tea. Should see her little head poking up across up the top any minute. Careful now. If you do it slowly and carefully, oh, Carl, my everything will be all right. Where are Hello. you? Carl. Hello? Because I've got nothing on my feet. Oh, Jackie. Socks. you got no socks? No, I have got socks. I only... I but I should have come with my slippers Careful. on. Careful. Because there's no grip. All right. Nice view, isn't it? Well, I've finally been joined by the missus up in the pop top. Happy up here, Jack. What do you think of the view? It's amazing, Paul. How did you find it climbing that stairway to heaven? Scary because I have nothing on my feet. <laughs> make, I only had socks on. Make sure we do go down carefully or it won't be a stairway to heaven, it'll be the gateway to hell. <laughs> right, we're taking a walk. On Google Maps it's got it down as a southwest coastal path, but honestly it's not even wide enough to get two feet on. It's like one foot at a time. Can you see how wide it is behind me? There, that's the coast path. <laughs> and that's my foot luck. Well you can get two feet on it just. <laughs> I'm not going to film as I'm walking because I'll end up blinking for falling over. Well, thank God the path has finally opened it up a bit. That got very airy at some stages. We were almost walking on the edge of the cliff with just a bit of hedgerow beside us. Didn't like it one bit. That's where we're going. Now, let's hope the path stays like that. Maybe go over towards that direction as far as we can. Oh dear. Well, we've done that walk as far as we could. And then it started getting really, really narrow and wonky and it was a bit wet mud as well so but just at that point there was a little turn in so we could get back up onto the main road so that's where we are now on an half decent track but it's absolutely steep as hell so let's make our way back to the van oh and i do apologize for taking this shirt off again um unfortunately as the weather gets up otter <laughs> you're gonna see a lot more of that i'll see if i got any filters i can use Oh, we've actually made it back onto Tarmac now. Absolutely stunning location. All uphill now, but we're knackered. What are you doing, Jack? Hmm? What have you been doing? Started my new back. Oh, lovely. You enjoying it? Do you want your cup of tea up there or are you coming down I'm for coming it? Down. All right. Remember what I'll say? I know I sound like an old mother. What? Very carefully. Firm foot in, one foot at a time. Yes, Carl. Because you'd make hell of a bang. Ooh. Don't prat around. <laughs> 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 well, only scared because scared I love you. If you was an old battle axe, I'd just say, yeah, get on with it, splat. <laughs> Gonna get a clip in a minute. That's why you're doing it, isn't it? <laughs> I'll get you, I'll reach up and get your toys after. No, leave them there. I don't want you coming down one handed. Come on. Carefully, don't, there you go. Go and make yourself comfy and I'll bring your tea to you. <laughs> bloody, I'll sort that out, go on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, and that's why I've got to watch you and guide you and say things like one foot at a time. <laughs> We're having hot dogs again tonight. I've already cooked the sausages. I've got the onions doing their thing there. As soon as they're done, I'll take them out and chuck the onions on. I'll chuck, just chuck the sausages in there, warm them up again. They're already nice and hot, the sausages. Already got me bread rolls done. There they are. Obviously, Fussy Pants Daisy, she gets fried chicken. What can you do? She's a princess, just like her mother. Oh, there they are. I've just chucked the sausages in. You know me, I like to try and cook in as, as few cooking pots as possible. I'm on holiday. I'm not here to do dishes. And it's all ready, our hot dogs with our onions, with our caramelised onions and our ketchup and our, what's the other stuff? Yellow stuff, mustard. <sighs> Gonna enjoy that. Get my belly, getting mummy's belly. And Daisy has just ate her chicken in about like one minute flat. We got all that to get through as well if we want it. Good morning. Right, we are going to say goodbye to this park up because two reasons. Toilet's full, batteries need charging, and Jackie just wants to go somewhere else for the day. So we're going to get rolling, see where we end up. Seems like such a shame to leave this beautiful clifftop coastal location, but we can't live here. <laughs> And I'm sure this space will be filled within minutes. Clear to the right because this is a bit of a blind. This is a blinding corner. And we're rolling. We're just about to enter this lovely little village called Millbrook. Gets a little bit tight down there. First time I drove it in the van, I was literally bricking myself, but I'm a little bit more confident now, but I won't say cocky, so I'll still take it easy. Mm -hmm. but he stopped so I thought oh well fair enough <laughs> I thought he was going to give me a bit of gob saying oh, it says give way well I was going to give way because it said give way but he stopped anyway so I thought oh well I'll go for it oh scaffold sticking out a little bit let's just take it step cool imagine that coming down on top of you no thank you We're out of the woods. It's always a narrow path. That's all the pipe work, Jack. This is what Jackie said come down here because she came in here years ago and we can park near a toilet and empty the toilet. We've driven all the way round. I didn't video all of it, but we've driven all the way round and uh, it's a nice, nice place actually, but I couldn't see the toilets to park close to. That's probably the way we came in, isn't it, I'm assuming? I'm assuming. Changed, yeah. All of, so, yeah, because there's no entry up this way. That's that lady we've seen walking down. Look, that yeah. on the right, that looks familiar. That big car park, there it is, that's the one we wanted. Yeah. I remember that big car park, that's where the toilet block is. There it is. Yeah, I remember that. There it is, you go in that And then there's a big wooden toilet block there, and hopefully I can empty my toilet. 
Have you paid and displayed? I don't mind spending a bob or two because I'm not a scab. We don't need to go because we're not staying. <sighs> right. There's a toilet on the other side, isn't there? So. That's the toilet. I'm going to shove it here and hopefully go down and empty my bog. Well, that's it. Thanks to Mount Edgecombe, I managed to empty my toilet. And there was a toilet brush beside it. Too much information. But, you know, toilet brush beside the toilet. I made give the toilet a good old clean and got the toilet paper out and wiped around the rim. And that looks like nobody's been there. It's probably cleaner than before I got there. That's the thing when you're using camper vans and motorhomes and you're going around, they say, leave no trace. I left no trace. I left the toilet cleaner than when I turned up. Right, so this is where we're going to go for the day. We've been here before. Is it in here? Yeah. Oh, let's get that. We'll whip it around. It's a bit tight. Oh, I made it. Oh, I made it. <laughs> the Church of St. Mary and Julian Maker. Make a camp. Make a, make a camp. Hey? Oh, yeah. As a kid, there was a like a camp up here, like a, what do you call them, like prefabs and that. And when I was in primary school, I was about 10. About 10, 11, they used to take all the kids to make a camp in the summer, spend a week there. It was really nice. But this is where we're going to go. There's Make a Church there on the right. We're going to go through here, and there's some parking, and are we going to get on the grass? That grass looks a bit muddy. Jackie wants me to go on the grass. I say I don't want to go on grass in case we get towed off. Jackie will make me go on the grass, then we'll get stuck. What's it say? Honesty box. Oh, bless him. He's there. That looks a bit wet there, so the rest of it could be. You know, you're saying about. Do you want to go here or should we go somewhere else? Go somewhere else if you want. Because I don't like. You don't. I don't really want to no. go on the grass. Oh, guess what? She didn't like it, so we're on our way out again. I'm not mocking you, I'm just saying you didn't like it. <laughs> Found a nice little car park here at the top of Kit Hill between, you know, Cornwall driving round back into Devon and Tavistar. But Jackie don't like this particular car park, so we're just going to go round see if we can find another one. But lovely view from the top. And we've got excellent um, mobile signal as well. So yeah, that's got to be a winner all round. Well, we finally made it to our park up. It took us about two hours because Jackie didn't like every park up that I went to. So we went down to, as you saw, we went down to, where was it? Ma where was it? Where did we go? Mount, Mount Edgecombe. She didn't like any of those park ups. No, then we came up to another place called Kittel and she didn't like any of those park ups. So then we followed the road round through to Tavistock and we're now at Pork Hill, which is our old faithful. So we're there with leftover hot dogs. Well, they're not leftover. I didn't cook them. <laughs> we had spare sausages to cook and onions and um, some hot dog babs from yesterday. So we're having that for our lunch. Oh, and I normally have four and there was only six. So I add some peanut butter on another bread roll because I'm fat. One great thing about this park up, they've always got the ice cream van. Now, no trip away in our van would be complete without at least one game of Monopoly Deal. Our favourite card game. Now, who's going to whip who's, who's, who's ass? Is Jackie going to whip my ass or am I going to whip hers? Mm. Right then, Jackie, for my first card, I would like to put this one on there. That means I've got one set and another set down there. And for my second card, I would like to put this one on there. That means I have one, one. two, three three sets that means i win and you have lost loser right it's six o'clock in the evening and that is going to be the end of our bank holiday weekend getaway so we're going to make our way back home now it should take us about an hour to get home then we can have a bit of a relaxing evening hopefully not a late night because we got work in the morning so if nothing drastic happens on the way or anything like that nothing worth filming I'll say bye-bye for now, and we'll look forward to seeing you, seeing us, in the next vlog, whenever that is, whenever we get out again. Take care. Bye-bye.